Caring, dedicated, selfless, compassionate, hardworking, honest, a true woman of God who wakes up every morning with a promise to God that she will do all that she can to serve others and love others as her God has asked. Eunice displays all of these characteristics in her day-to-day -day life. She knows that it is an honor to serve those elders who have been entrusted to her care. Gentle, so sweet and kind, patient and genuine. These are just a few of the words residents use when asked to describe Eunice. Sanctuary at St. Joseph Village, the residents and associates have all been blessed by having the privilege and honor of calling Eunice one of our own. Thank you for everything you continue to do for our residents in honoring the sacredness of each individual soul. Congratulations. Sanctuary at Mercy Village, Robin Cherist began at Sanctuary at Mercy Village in October of 2006. Robin embraces the sanctuary elements by adapting person-centered care into her environmental services position, she has been able to build close relationships with our residents and their families. When you watch her interact with the residents, you can see she is full of energy and dedication. Our guiding behaviors come easily to Robin. She supports her colleagues in, and is always available to help by making herself available to everyone regardless of their department. Robin has grown as a continuous learner eager to know all she can about our community. Robin communicates openly and honestly. She is fully present and accountable for her decisions. These traits help propel Robin as a natural mentor for fellow colleagues. Congratulations, Robin. Kelly Bennett. Kelly has been a valuable member of the Sanctuary at the Oaks team for over a year. She brought with her a brilliant, light-hearted personality. In our memory care unit, Kelly leads the team in being professional as well as fun. She encourages the elders to be as independent as safely possible. Her smile is contagious, and her laugh is well known to everyone. She takes her responsibilities serious and holds herself and others accountable for the needs of our elders. The elders, their families, and her co-workers are thankful she is in our lives. Congratulations, Kelly. <laughs> Jeremy Lyon. Mother Teresa said, We cannot do great things on this earth. Only small things with great love. Jeremy does an extraordinary number of things with great love. He adds joy to our residence days, even if it means dressing up like an elf, <laughs> tall elf, or other mystical creature. Our residents know they can count on Jeremy for whatever they need, and always, every day, to make them smile and feel loved. Congratulations. Heritage Place, David Masevich. David brings many gifts to Heritage Place. He is a skilled technician for the building and a dedicated employee. He is always willing to help our elders with a smile and quick response. David carries out the CHE Trinity Health mission by improving the health of our residents through his excellent building maintenance. He is always respectful of our elders and works hard to make their lives easier. During the bitter winter, despite the freezing cold and heavy snowfalls, David cleared every car of snow. The residents were so appreciative of his efforts that they chipped in and presented him with a lovely gift. Although he is a quiet man, he is generous in spirit for the residents of Heritage Place. Congratulations, David. Unfortunately, Angie, or just cannot be with us today, but we're going to share her story anyway. So let us celebrate her in that. 
accents. Angie joined our team a little over six months ago. Some of our residents have described her as their angel. Angie is available for all residents and assists with many tasks that have become overwhelming for them. She is respectful to our residents, shows compassion when interacting with them. She is patient and understanding. Angie offers support to resident family members as they too make difficult decisions for their loved ones. Angie has developed relationships with agencies to better serve our communities. These relationships have enhanced our programs and much knowledge has been gained on behalf of our residents. So we congratulate Angie in her absence. Christine Wilson. <laughs> Since she's been a part of Macaulay Commons, Chris has networked with neighboring organizations such as Focus Hope, Greening of Detroit, I2D2 Food and Fitness, the Samaritan Center, and the Detroit Area Agency on Aging, along with countless others in an effort to make sure that our residents continue to get the best goods and services available. Just recently, Chris implemented a chair exercise class for our residents to get them more active, and they really enjoyed it. Similarly, Chris implemented a class along with Chaplain Clark entitled Memories of Life. This class has created a sense of unity among the residents because they are able to identify with one another on a deeper level. Ms. Wilson is the tranquility in our community when things seem to go awry. Her hushed, caring spirit is exactly what we need at Macaulay Commons. Congratulations. Dashika Beverly Daniels. Expectation, anticipation, realization. God gives us power we seldom employ. For we're so unaware it is filled with such joy. The gift that God gives us is anticipation, which we can fulfill with sincere expectation. Tashika works as the resident service coordinator at Begin Bethune Apartments. I've received many compliments from residents and their families who have come to rely on her direction. She handles pressure well and will voluntarily do what needs to be done to make sure deadlines are met. Upon being hired, Mrs. Daniels found out that we had residents that were deaf. She made it her business to learn sign language instead of yelling at them to be able to communicate with them. She often states that she was hired to service 100% of the population, not just a select few. Congratulations to Sheikha. Teresa Maximus, Maurice Hummel. Maurice was hired as a maintenance technician for Teresa Maximus in October 2013. He brought a wealth of experience with him as he has worked in the maintenance and janitorial field since 1983. Mo always has a kind word and is willing to do whatever it takes to meet the needs of residents. He has a great sense of humor and his personality allows him to spread good feelings throughout the organization. One resident described him as very hardworking and timely with completing work orders. However, she did say that Maurice seemed to work harder if you gave him a piece of sweet potato pie. <laughs> his reliability, his sense of humor, and his wonderful smile and attitude represent key characteristics of Sanctuary at its best. Maurice truly does represent Sanctuary with a good and giving heart, while always placing residents first. Congratulations. Nakia Jones. Nakia is always available to the residents. They ask her to do things like program remotes, read letters, help with computer issues, and even take their pets outside. These are just a few things she does besides her many regular duties. 
She does these things without ever complaining or saying the infamous, that's not my job. Because of her caring attitude, we've seen her become a part of the extended family of many elders. She is there when residents are sick or at the end of life, or have challenges that may overwhelm them. She is always offering her help and guidance. Nakia has an occasional surprise snack like cookies, cakes, and brownies on her desk because the residents appreciate her dedication in the building. Her compassion reaches far beyond the residents. She has helped some of the volunteers that have come from the Center for the Homeless with job leads and with skill building. She has also helped some family members to find housing or jobs or insurance. She always goes the extra mile for residents and staff. Nikia stands out from others through her unwavering call to excellence, which is built in the foundation of integrity. She has dedicated her life to the care of the underserved. She has a compassion and respect for our elders that comes from deep within. Congratulations. Sanctuary of Clinton Villa, George Melnick. George is Sanctuary of Clinton Villa's Dining Service Director. Hired less than a year ago, George jumped right into our busy kitchen and got to work. George has been instrumental in helping the residents and staff transition to a seated meal at noon and is planning on dining room renovation that will happen later this year. George is a mentor and friend to his colleagues at Clinton Villa, often coming in early and staying late to make sure everything is just right for the residents. And it's not just his cooking. George brings a steady, confident presence to Clinton Villa. His kindness and compassion for our culture and our community illustrate his commitment to sanctuary and to those we serve. Congratulations, George. The Sanctuary at Maple Vista, Ethan Buccaneer. Ethan began working as a dining services aide at Casa Maria when he was a teenager. He was shy and blushed easily when spoken to. More than six years have passed since he joined the TSLC. In that time, our community has transformed into sanctuary at Maple Vista, and he has transformed as well. Ethan consistently lives out the message that Mother Annunciata sent to the sisters caring for the wounded. And here's a list of some of his characteristics. Ethan is always pleasant. He's attentive. Wears a smile no matter what the situation is. Shows genuine concern for the needs of residents while keeping an eye on food quality. Keeps the other kitchen workers smiling with jokes. He and his wife come and sing for us. He's the best. Thank you, Ethan, for representing the very best of what sanctuary means to us all. Congratulations. Tammy Nance. Sanctuary at Marion Hope. <laughs> Tammy has been with us about a year, and from day one, she has shown sanctuary on a daily basis to our residents. From taking a meal to a resident who was afraid to come down to the dining room, and sitting with that resident for a while, Tammy has gone on her own time, and even found a computer desk for our computer library room, which she was going to pay for herself. But when she told the woman it was for a senior community, she got the woman to donate it. Tammy spends much needed time listening to the residents, giving them that extra attention, and always with an amazing disposition and a smile on her face. Maybe one of Tammy's best attributes is the ability, the ability to be proactive. Tammy's care and concern for her residents, co-workers, and her job sets her apart from others. Tammy is appreciated and loved by staff and residents alike. Congratulations.
Meet me, Marion Place, Dale Pitta. Dale is a quiet man and always has a gentle smile for the residents. There is nothing that Dale cannot fix or build. On many occasions, he will come back to Sanctuary at Meet Marion Place because someone locked themselves out or has a problem with their toilet. He has built many door ramps on his own time. Just recently, one of our residents that is on oxygen asked to have her refrigerator lifted above ground. Dale went home, designed, and built a box the exact heights to accommodate her needs. Dale never brings a bad day to work. He leaves it at the door and comes in with a smile on his face and a willingness to take on his tasks. His love, devotion, and commitment to Marion Place and the elders is shown in his daily work performance. Congratulations, Dale. Sanctuary at Mary Haven, James Marshall. Jim is the epitome of sanctuary. He is mission-driven, believes in laughter, compassion, and teamwork. Jim takes the time to fully listen to our elders, their families, and his co-workers. He uses this opportunity to build person-centered care and bond with the entire community. It's never a surprise to see Jim's smiling face on Saturday morning with a table full of residents engaged in good conversation and always laughter. Jim's natural instinct is to go above and beyond the needs of our community. If he notices a resident feeling poorly, he takes the time to address their needs. Jim is a shining example of the Trinity mission. Congratulations. Chris Murren. Two of Chris's most valuable gifts to Villa Marie and our residents are her ability to always be open to change within our community and to continually embrace person-centered care. Chris can be found on a daily basis going above and beyond to make our residents feel at home. When Chris is at the community, she is fully present in her care and compassion to our residents. We love coming into the dining room and witnessing the interaction between Chris and our residents. Chris has a way of making them all feel so special. Chris's dedication and care to each and every one of our residents is so appreciated and is a treasure to Villa Marie. Congratulations. Better known as Flora Makatangi. Flora joined the MDS department at Sanctuary at Parishville in December of 2004. And in 2009, she joined TSLC Clinical Operations as Director of Clinical Assessment Standards and Practice. Under Flora's leadership over the last five years, standardization of competency and practice in the RAI process has been established in each of our own and managed communities. Flora's reputation as an expert in the RIE process is well known for her work at TSLC and nationally. She is a well-respected colleague in this field by the American Association of Nurse Assessment Coordination. Flora was responsible for the seamless transition of MDS data from MDI to our new EHR, Health Med X, through her efficiently organized plan and support of community MDS staff in the execution of the transition. Flora's dedication to her field of interest and her commitment to support, support TSLC MDS staff is outstanding. Flora and her husband have two adult daughters. Periodically, Flora and her family travel to the Philippines to visit her mother and other family members. Thank you and congratulations, Flora. Paula Wilson Tata is a nurse in our Daisy neighborhood that always works as a team player. She wears her warm smile as a part of her uniform and is consistently goes the extra mile for each of her residents and her peers. Her compassion is evidenced in the way her residents and families flock to her. 
She is extraordinarily charismatic, and people just love to be around her. Her dedication to excellence is not only a part of her job, but it is her personal mission. She truly cares for our residents, and to see her interact with those we serve is to see her live out what truly is her calling. There are so many examples of times where her loving generosity has been shared in our community that it would be impossible to name them all. She is a true inspiration of what Sanctuary is all about. Congratulations. Sandy Heath from the Alberno. Sandy has built lasting relationships with the residents in her, in her neighborhood and knows all of their likes and dislikes and what makes them happy and or upset. Sandy starts each day by giving hugs to anyone who is already up and says goodbye to them at the end of her shift. They look for her and they know that they can count on her. So she makes sure to let them know when she has days off. She goes out of her way to do things that others may not have time for, like helping them to get to mass, helping them to sort or clean their closets or drawers, or picking up something they may need. She made decorations for everyone's door in her neighborhood so that they would have something seasonal. She just truly cares about her residents, and we are lucky to have her on our team. Congratulations. Sanctuary of Elbrook, Kelly McKenna. Moving a loved one into memory care has never been an easy situation for families. Coming to the realization that the care your loved one needs is beyond their ability is difficult and leaves many feeling guilty. Sanctuary of Bellbrook tries every day to make that transition easier, and that could not be possible without our nurse, Kelly. Kelly has been serving our memory care residents, families, in Anamkaras for over five years. When we asked Anamkaras who worked with her, what special characteristics Kelly has and demonstrates, all of their faces lit up. The first words were, she deserves it. There were many words said, such as amazing, kind, gentle, supportive, caring, hands-on, and many more. What stuck out was that she is the glue that holds all of us together. <coughs> Kelly holds in her heart the spirit of our founding sisters and stays true to all of our founding principles. She serves those who are in need of healing, especially those who are most vulnerable. She is the healing presence in our memory care community. She honors the sacredness and dignity of every elder, family, and staff. She is our gift of sanctuary to all of the people she touches. Congratulations, Kelly. Sharon Rush. Sharon embraces CHE Trinity Health's mission and values. They seem to come second nature to her. She serves as our community's safety ambassador and is a champion advocate for resident and colleague safety. She greets visitors and families with a smile and will assist them or answer their question. Sharon gets multiple interruptions during her day, but never gives the impression she is too busy for anyone. She has a way of making our residents feel special and they know she genuinely cares about them. She sees, her, sees herself as their advocate and goes to bat for what is best for a resident. Her opinions are valued by the team. The nurses had this to say about Sharon. <clears throat> she is kind and considerate toward residents and colleagues. If we are having a hectic day, she will set a piece of chocolate in front of us. She is the anchor of our ship and a wealth of knowledge. A resident shared that Sharon is so good, not only to me, but to everybody. We love Sharon. It's been said that no one is indispensable, and that may be true. However, there are people who are irreplaceable, and Sharon is that person. Congratulations, Sharon. Donna Hoffman, Sanctuary of Elbrook. 
Donna Johnson. Donna has been a dedicated member of the housekeeping staff at Mercy Center South for three years. Donna takes time to converse with each resident while cleaning and tidying the, up their living space. She pays special attention to meeting the needs of each resident by treating them with respect and dignity. She encompasses our mission by treating everyone with that respect and compassion. Donna is always willing to go above and beyond to meet the needs of everyone she contacts. Donna has done things like bought neckties for one of our gentlemen who resides in her neighborhood. She also has taken clothing home to iron for residents to wear. When Donna is working, you know each and every resident will be cared for with compassion. And Donna's God-given gifts help to transform the environment around our community and for our residents. Congratulations, Donna. Sanctuary at Fraser Villa, Michael Curry. Michael Curry demonstrates his commitment to our mission and most certainly to the gifts of sanctuary. While I would be happy to highlight what the nomination team discussed about Michael, I think it will serve everyone better if I leave it to families that have written to us about him. A spouse spoke of the care his wife received from Michael. He wrote, I would like to say that Michael is the kindest, most gentle, caring nurse aide that my wife has ever had. And all the other guests we have spoken to about him also concur these thoughts. Another resident wrote, I would like to give special thanks and recognition to Michael. He had an exceptional, natural, comforting way that made all patients relaxed, trusting, and comfortable. Michael is known by his peers as the nice guy. He is always willing to help, no matter the request. He is truly a gift at Sanctuary at Fraser Villa. Congratulations, Michael. Sanctuary at Holy Cross, Indiana. Tammy Harmon. Tammy has worked as a CNA with Trinity for almost 13 years. She is always busy making people happy. She truly looks at her residents as part of her own family and has helped create a stable team in her neighborhood, leading by example and demonstrating our mission and values every day. Tammy brings many gifts to her family at Sanctuary at Holy Cross, including her smile, her willingness to go the extra mile, and her infectious laugh. Her residents and families miss her when she is off, and everyone knows her by name. Tammy is a shining star amongst the colleagues. The Sanctuary at Holy Cross is truly blessed to have Tammy as part of their family. Congratulations. In kindness and unconditional love to all. He gives everyone respect by treating them like they are part of his immediate family. And the look the elders give Ray every day says it all. Living at sanctuary is a blessing, but Ray serving the residents is priceless. Now this is an impromptu award or recognition. It's not on the agenda, Ken, I'm sorry. But we have a special person-centered advocate who is leaving us, and her name is Charlotte Smith, and she is from Grayling. Anybody know where Grayling is? Charlotte joined us in 2008 as the administrator at Mercy Manor in Grayling, Michigan, and I can tell you from firsthand witnessing, she is absolutely a person-centered administrator. It is not unusual to find Charlotte holding the hand of an agitated resident while using her right hand to finish the work that she was working on on her computer. Her office is another element of caring for residents. 
She has residents that are special, they need special attention, and they often are in Charlotte's uh, watchful eye in her office. Um, I would just like to have this group, because it is so far away to get to Grayling, we didn't want to have all of her colleagues, her staff members, um, we didn't want her to get away from us because she's flying to Alaska. She's going to start a new adventure in a very remote, pristine, beautiful place. But I would ask the uh, colleagues from Mercy Manor, would you stand? I'd like also the system office staff to stand wherever you are. Charlotte, please don't forget us, all of us. We won't forget you. Thank you.